Good morning, everybody. Coming to you with my daily blog in the form of a video. This is my wallpaper here, and it's the um, Rose Room, I believe it's called, from the library, New York Public Library. Yeah, the Rose Main Reading Room is what it's called in the New York Public Library. So that's a pretty cool room, huh? All right, let's jump into my blog here. Today we are talking about St. Rita of Kaskia, So Many Miracles. Kind of a cool uh, image of her there, an icon of her. Of course, when we read every day about a different saint that's celebrated by the church, we're going to meet some amazing people. But I'm surprised I've never heard of St. Rita of Kaskia because she was so remarkable. She lived in Italy in the 14th century. Her husband was murdered, leaving her with two sons, she forgave her husband's killers, but her two sons vowed revenge. She tried to get them to, uh, to forgive, but they refused. Then they got sick after she prayed that they would not continue the cycle of hate with the other family. They forgave those who killed their father before they died of the sickness. Left alone, St. Rita wanted to join a local convent, but the sisters there strongly refused her. The text I read didn't say why. Maybe the thing we listened to will. She prayed, and two miracles happened. She was able to reconcile two other feuding families. Apparently, Fair Verona was rife with Montagues and Capulets. And then some saints guided St. Rita past the locked doors of the convent into the chambers where she could not have gotten on her own. Oh, sorry, I scrolled too far up for you to read. Um, amazed, the sisters relented and let her join them. When she was praying before the Eucharist, once she became a sister, asking to be united to Jesus, she received a miracle. Her forehead was pierced with a, th with a thorn, like from the, the crown of thorns that Jesus wore. The wound stayed with her for her entire life. After she died, many more miracles were attributed to her intercession, especially in desperate circumstances. So she's one of the patrons of, sep of desperate circumstances or, or insurmountable odds. So whenever you feel like you're facing that, she's a good one to ask for her intercession. You can read more about her here. Let's see what they have to say. It is the Franciscan Media site. So let's see what they say about St. Rita of Kaskia. Let me turn it down here so it doesn't yell at us. And let's listen. This is Franciscan Media's Saint of the Day for May 22nd. Today we celebrate St. Rita of Kasha. The life of St. Rita would make a gripping made-for-TV movie. Right. Born in Italy in 1377, Rita learned early that her elderly parents had firm ideas about what she should do with her life. They made arrangements for her to marry. Despite her strongly expressed desire to become a nun, their choice proved disastrous. The husband they found for her was abusive and unfaithful, but Rita struggled to keep the family together and concentrated on raising her two sons. After 18 years of unhappy married life, Rita's husband was killed in a brawl. A short time later, both sons died. Though deeply pained by the series of losses, Rita was now free to turn to the religious life. She was rejected three times by the local group of Augustinian sisters, who only permitted virgins in their community. But finally, the Augustinians welcomed her. Often meditating on the passion of Christ, Rita suffered what seemed to be a thorn-like wound on her forehead. She died from tuberculosis at age 80 and was canonized in 1900. St. Rita is considered the patron of difficult cases, especially those connected with marriage. There's more about the saints along with inspiration and Catholic resources at our website, saintofthedate.org. Okay, very good. They mentioned some details that weren't mentioned in the book. So when things look desperate in your life, look to Jesus like St. Rita did. It's a great time for him to show you what he can do. You can also ask St. Rita for her intercession. God, thanks for the amazing life of this woman who trusted you. St. Rita of Kasha, pray for us. You guys have a great day.